Now, why would you know, creationists, the biblical creationists, want to talk about this? Well, we believe the Bible is the history book of the universe. And even in this phenomenon, if we just rely upon our experiences or the tales that we're, we're being told uh, by people who are having these experiences, uh, we can be led astray. And we need to use the Bible as a worldview filter, like a set of glasses for interpreting all of reality, everything around us. And even when we come to this phenomenon, uh, it's exactly the same. The number one question I get when I go to churches from Christians is, Gary, you can't say that there is no extraterrestrial life out there. God could have made it because, after all, look how big he made the universe. Are you telling me he made this enormous universe with billions of galaxies just to put life here on earth? Well, yes, I am. Because for you to say that, it's what we call an anthropomorphic view. In other words, you're, a, you're, a, you're attributing God with man-made ideas. It's a bit like saying, well, if I'd have made it so big, you know, I would have inhabited it, uh, filled it with life elsewhere. See, when we talk about UFOs, they've been seen throughout history. Ancient writings all record strange craft in the sky and even have occupants on board. They've been seen by credible witnesses on radar, uh, for example. So, you know, don't think. And I know. I just would absolutely best guess some of you here have seen things. Some of you may have even had experiences. Some of you have probably never ever shared those with any other people. I understand that. And if you want to come and talk to me after the meeting about those things, I'm more than happy to do so. I can tell you, I started out as a skeptic. I thought these are all the psychological delusions of UFO wannabes. These people are traumatized, damaged. But most of all, what's happening causes them to disbelieve the Bible because of the idea of evolution occurring elsewhere. Do you know, they're not only our creators, but they're our messiahs. They're going to whisk us away, take us to some utopian planet, restore Mother Earth, because human beings are destroying it. And they've even got their own eschatology in there. This cosmic war started in the Garden of Eden. That's where the first deception occurred, and it's going on now. The prize is human beings. Why does Satan go to all these lengths? Because you are the apple of God's eye. So much so that he sent his one and only son to come and die for you.